Alright guys, in this video I will be telling you how to draw the architectural block diagram of 8051 microcontroller. So let's get started. Alright, before starting the drawing of the block diagram, uh, we must understand this uh, that all of the blocks will be mounted on a chip. So we should, we have to draw the outline of that chip. Now I have drawn the outline of the chip. Now uh, on this we have to mount some blocks or registers or we can say uh, functional operators uh, which should be mounted on a microcontroller. First of all here we have the two ports one and two. So this is the port zero and this is the port two. Here you have the another two ports that is the port 1 and port 3 and these ports are of are having 8 pins now I have drawn all of the ports now it's time to make some blocks in between these so here we have the five blocks two of which are here two of them are here and one is in between this a pair of two two blocks and the first block is ram a d d r register the second one is the ram third one is the port 0 latch the fourth one is the port 2 latch the fifth one is the EP ROM or simply ROM now on this right side we have five other blocks which we have to make the first block is of the program address register the second block is the buffer the third block is the PC incrementer I'm sorry I'm writing these names outside the block because I don't have enough space the fourth block is the program counter and the fifth block is the DBTR data pointer all of these blocks are of 16 bit so I name it 16 bit here now we have to draw a circuitry line in this manner and yes this is how you how you will draw the circuitry line in between this you have uh, five to six blocks I think so we'll see so one two three four five six seven so in total there are seven blocks in this circuitry line this one is of uh, this is the register B block this one is the accumulator register block this block is T temporary 2 this this block is arithmetic and logic unit ALU this block is temporary 1 this block is of PSW program status word this block is the stack pointer At the end of this circuitry line over here we have two another blocks like this so one block is the instruction register and another block is the timing and control over here we have an oscillator which is situated somewhat like this oscillator this is the crystal and we have 
the other end which is grounded so this point is the XTAL2 and this point is the XTAL1 now make sure that uh, above each ports you have their latches uh, the port 0 has, it, has its latch here the port 2 has its latch here port 1 here and port 3 will be here so I'm drawing the same port 1 latch port 3 latch all of the registers are completed all of the blocks we have named them and now let us uh, make out the connections Approximately, I have made out the connections and uh, there's something else which is left uh, so how will this chip or microcontroller will work unless and until there is a power supply to it so here lies the power supply power of 5 volt is required the timing and control um, block gives out two outputs and takes two inputs. The first output is PSEN, second output is ALE, first input is EA and second input is RST. So this is your block diagram which is the architectural block diagram of 8051 microcontroller the drawing part is over in my next video I will be posting the information about this because I know that some of them might have not understood the meanings of these words which are looking so weird and in my next video I will be giving a description on this about these words and what are the function of each and every block in this diagram so thank you guys for watching this video make sure you can you will also watch the next video thank you have a nice day bye bye take care